We present a control strategy for agents with a variety of dynamics to autonomously achieve a desired formation while avoiding collisions. Our strategy is fully distributed and can be implemented using only the local relative position measurements. Furthermore, agents do not need to communicate or have a common sense of orientation. We start with agents with single integrator dynamics and use the approach introduced by Lin et al. to achieve a desired formation. Our main contribution is a novel design strategy for finding the control gains. To understand this approach, consider three agents and assume that agents 2 and 3 are neighbors of agent 1. This means that agent 1 can measure the relative position of agents 2 and 3 in its local coordinate frame. For each neighbor, a control gain matrix that is computed beforehand is provided to agent 1. The control for agent 1 is then computed by multiplying associated gain matrices and neighbor's coordinates and summing the results. At any instant of time, agent 1 moves along the computed control vector with a speed equal to the vector's magnitude. If the control gains are chosen properly, the collective effort of all agents results in the desired formation. When the inner agent sensing graph is undirected and universally rigid, our novel algorithm for finding the gains based on semi-definite programming ensures that the desired formation is achieved globally. Our design enjoys several robustness properties, such as robustness to saturations in the input, switches in the sensing topology, and disturbances in the direction of motion. In particular, if edges move in the desired direction perturbed by a rotation up to plus minus 90 degrees, convergence to the desired formation is still guaranteed. This observation is used to design a distributed collision avoidance strategy. By constructing a collision circle around the agents that are closer than a threshold distance, each agent rotates its control vector outside of the resulting cones to avoid collision. If the required rotation is greater than 90 degrees, the agent stops moving to preserve the stability properties of the overall system. Although gridlocks are unavoidable due to the distributed nature of this strategy, if agents are initially placed far apart, they can often overcome them and converge to the desired formation. Our control strategy can be extended to agents with higher order dynamics in the controllable canonical form. Through approximation or coordinate transformation techniques such as feedback linearization, dynamics of many vehicles can be expressed in this form. Therefore, our strategy encompasses a large class of systems. As an example, we consider a simulation of nine quadrators using their original nonlinear dynamics. The control is designed by using the linearized dynamics about the hover point. The quadrators start from random initial positions and are kept at a constant altitude. Each quadrator can measure the local relative position of its neighbors, as indicated by gray lines. The sensing graph switches at random instances of time. The desired formation is a square grid which is achieved without any collisions. To apply the control for agents with non-holonomic dynamics, we use an approach inspired by Zhao et al. for unicycles and present a novel extension for agents with car dynamics. In this approach, the control vector for single integrator agents is projected onto the heading direction and perpendicular heading direction of each vehicle. The length of the projected vector on the heading direction determines the linear velocity and length of the projection on the perpendicular direction determines the angular velocity of each agent. We show that this strategy is robust to input saturations and unmodeled dynamics. We consider a simulation of nine differential drive robots starting from the same initial positions as the quadrators. The linear and angular velocities are saturated and have unknown dynamics. The robots achieve the square grid desired formation without collision under a switching sensing topology. Lastly, we consider the control for agents with car dynamics. Here, the control vector for single integrator agents is projected onto the steering direction and perpendicular steering direction of each vehicle. The length of the projection on the steering direction determines the driving velocity, and length of the projection on the perpendicular direction determines the steering velocity of the car. Similar to unicycles, this strategy is robust to input saturations and unmodeled dynamics. In a similar simulation for nine cars with the driving and steering velocities saturated and subject to unknown dynamics, the agents achieve the square grid desired formation without collision under a switching sensing topology. To verify our strategy experimentally, we present a distributed robotic platform that consists of off-the-shelf sphere robots, laptop computers, and webcams. This setup is truly distributed in the sense that each computer is responsible for controlling a subset of robots and computers do not communicate during the experiment. The number of robots that can be used in this platform is only limited by the available resources.
Spheral robots consist of a differential wheeled internal platform that is enclosed in a spherical shell. To test the control for single integrator agents, a low-level PID controller is employed to first orient the internal platform along the desired direction and then roll the robot forward to achieve the desired speed. To test the control for unicycle agents, a low-level PID controller is used to adjust the linear and angular velocities of the internal differential drive platform. Our first set of experiments correspond to an equilateral triangle formation with six robots. For this experiment, only two computers are used where each computer controls three robots. Under the single integrator control, the robots achieve the desired formation. The trajectory of the robots reconstructed from the webcam images is shown in the bottom right. In a similar experiment, by using the unicycle control, the robots achieve the desired formation. Note that no collisions occur during the experiments. In a new set of experiments with the desired formation defined as a hexagon, the robots achieve the desired formation under the single integrator control. The robots also achieve the desired formation using the unicycle control. In our last set of experiments, we consider a square grid desired formation of nine robots. Here, three computers are used, where each computer controls three robots. The robots achieve the desired formation under the single integrator control. And they achieve the desired formation under the unicycle control without collision. The simulation code and implementation details of the robotic platform are available online and free.